previously seen examples of addition and subtraction uncertainties, we're going to take a look at a scenario of multiplication and division. Using the same example we've seen before, the solution of salt water, say we are going to weigh 2.87 grams of salt in ACL. And we're going to place that salt into 32 milliliters of distilled water that was measured in a beaker. In this case, 2.87 would have an uncertainty, an absolute uncertainty of 0.02 grams. And the 32 milliliters of distilled water will have an absolute uncertainty of 2 milliliters. Using these two values, say the question is to find the density of an ACL of salt in salt water. First, we need to recognize one milliliter equals to one centimeters cubed. In chemistry and in science, we almost always use centimeters cubed and not milliliters. We also need to recognize the formula for density, which is mass over volume. Mass has the units of grams and volume has the units of centimeters cubed. When we use a formula that multiplies or divides, such as density, um, we find the percent uncertainties. This means we need, need to find the relative uncertainties first and add them together. So it's still addition and subtraction, but you just need to recognize that when you're using any form of multiplication or division in your formula, your uncertainties need to be relative uncertainties. So let's first convert these values into relative uncertainties. We have 2.87 plus or minus 0 0.02 grams. This gives us a relative uncertainty of 0.697%. We see that this is accurate to one significant figure. So this means our final value needs to be one significant figure as well. 32 milliliters plus or minus 2 milliliters of uncertainty we can get the relative uncertainty of plus or minus 6.25%. Now we have two different relative uncertainty values. We can add these percentages together. So we add 0 0.697 with 6.25 and we get plus or minus 7%. Recognize that our uncertainty for the mass balance is one significant figure. Our uncertainty for our beaker volume of distilled water is also one significant figure. So our final value needs to be one significant figure as well. We can't leave it to one or two or three decimal places of percentages. So we rounded it to plus or minus 7%. Now see the next video on how we can convert from this percent relative uncertainty into absolute uncertainty for the total uncertainty of the density required in this formula of salt in salt water.